What's going on Toy Fam? Project Piper Customs here and we are back with another video and today we will be taking a look at the Marvel Legends X-Men Caliban Builder Figure Wave. Thank you Hasbro for getting this wave out to us super early. And I know you've got more money squirreled away. That was my favourite mug. Stay out of my shit. Let's go. Welcome back Toy Fam and as you can see we've got the whole wave here open out of their boxes and we're going to go and have a look, give them a once over and yeah what do you think of the new display? Yeah, it's not really new, I'm just trying something out, a bit more of a space futuristic kind of sci-fi theme um, with the gantry and the space war I've got going, Let's see if I can get Caliban's head in the shot, come on. There you go. So yeah, this is the lineup. So we're going to do, we're just going to touch upon each figure. We're not going to go into like, you know, massive amounts of articulation as these are Marvel Legends. You pretty much know what you're getting. Uh, there are a couple of standouts though. So we'll just touch upon those. But other than that, these are all bodies that you've pretty much seen before. So you know how they work. You don't need me to go over them again. But this is a solid wave. Uh, just straight off the bat. And yeah, a lot of them come with some really cool accessories. So, where do we start, boys and girls? Should we start from the outside and work our way in? Let's do it. So we're going to start off with Jubilee. So let's bring Jubilee over here and let's have a look at this lovely little lady. Let's get the autofocus going. Yeah, she is. Now I think they've done the pretty well, to be fair. You know, um, the the trench the trench coat is you know it's a soft plastic. It's not as soft as some of the uh, soft plastic goods they have had, but uh, yeah, they've done the head sculpt pretty decent. And yeah, nice set of uh, translucent glasses on her. You know, colours are all there. The golds are all there. You know, she's got the jean shorts, and yeah, just some boots. And what's cool is she actually has one up and down hinge on this end. Okay, and they're both in that sort of uh, power position. That's terrible. But yeah, whew, you know, for her fireworks. Same again with this one. You know. So yeah, it's kind of like a Kung Fu master, but not really. The only complaint I would have is that her head sits quite high up on her neck. As you can see, it's not all the way in there, which is a bit of a pain. Not too bad, though. You can probably hide it. But yeah, not... Not a bad figure overall. All the deco's great. Articulation is standard female buck. You know, single joints. And yeah, uh, nothing new, nothing to excite us. Okay, but she does have some cool accessories. Uh, so let's put her down quick. There she is in the forefront. Please stand up, don't knock them all over. Thank you. And yeah, one of them is this alternative head sculpt. Okay, excuse that, that's blood remnants from my uh, when I trapped my thumb in the door. So yeah, she has this alternate head sculpt, uh, which is like her blowing a bubble with chewing gum. Oh, the visors just popped down. And she also comes with two sets of these visors. And typical of me, I've already lost the set. And it's in the uh, vast open world that is my floor. Uh, <laughs> so it's, it's a round, I've, just, I've, I've put them down somewhere, they've got knocked off and uh, yeah, they've ended up on the floor. So I will find them. But yeah, thankfully there's no different. You get two sets of these visors. Uh, I guess for the very reason that I've just mentioned, because you know I you could lose a set. But yeah, so these come off, so you can have the uh, shades off look. Okay, her eyes are a bit all over the gaff. But uh, but yeah, and even though it don't look great on the ears, you could I guess have them up. No, not gonna do it for me. There is a little sculpted area for where they hook in behind the ears as you can see here right, it's all there and the same on the other side the focus will stop fucking around there you go yeah and they just sit on her head nice well, they were a moment ago just before i started rolling typical way to fuff around now but yeah so that is uh, all uh, accessories. So she comes with one head sculpt and uh, two sets of the goggles, uh, glasses. So that is Jubilee. Okay, really great addition to round out the Jim Lee blue team. Is she on the blue team or gold team? 
I don't know. It's generally designed anyway. I forget with the X-Men. I'm not that well clued up with the cartoon comic book X-Men. So uh, it might have to help me out here, guys. All right. So that is Jubilee. Nice addition. We like you. You're staying. All right. So let's move on to Weapon X. Now, we are getting every which way version of Wolverine that there ever has been in the comics at this rate. Uh, and this is the latest one. <laughs> And next, in the next Wendigo build a figure bath, we're going to get the X Force version. So, and I think there's another version after that. It's just, they don't stop teasing us with all these Wolverines. But anyway, so this, Weapon X Wolverine. All right. So you've got a completely uh, um, unclothed male buck. I don't know what buck this is, but uh, someone let me know. Does have butterfly joints. All right. Which is uh, pretty awesome. Love the details on the uh, helmet there. Let me see if I can get some more light going. Brighten this up a bit. There you go. So yeah, love the details on that. That's awesome. Great translucent pipe work all over. Now, it doesn't come with blood on the claws. I added that. Okay. Because everyone's going for him suspended in the chamber. And I thought, well, I want to go for a breakout edition. And on his way out of the complex, he's probably going to have stabbed a few people. So I wanted my claws bloodied up. So that's my own little uh, customization there. All right. He's got his harness, which is loose. All good. The belt, which is loose, sometimes rides up, as you can see. But all the pipes are attached to it. And he's got some trunks and bare feet. So, customizers out there, you've got yourself another set of bare feet. And yeah, some great detail in the hair. You know, it's painted on. And even on the chest. Yeah, this is badass. And of course, his accessory is alternate head sculpt. With no helmet, but screaming face. Or trying to be. It's more like stamping your toe on the corner of a desk or stepping on Lego face. You can decide. It's a shame we can't take that and put it on this, but customizers out there are already doing it copying another wolverine and yeah cutting away this part lopping the top of this head and joining the two together and it's actually quite a really simple modification and uh the end result is uh quite awesome so there we have it okay so that is his only other accessory is the alternate head there you go it's not exactly like hugh jackman but you know we can use our imagination so yeah, that's the only accessory he comes with. And there you have it. That is Weapon X Wolverine. So let's pop you back. Please don't fall over. Please don't fall over. Don't stab. Blink in the head. There we go. There we go. There's some order amongst this chaos. All right. Now, one of my favorites is definitely Beast. Okay, this bad boy. Now, story behind this bad boy. I was actually at the London MCM Comic Con, um, which uh, revealed, when Hasbro had their panel, when revealed this guy. And I instantly thought, oh shit, my phone's going to blow up. And yeah, it did. Of course, when I posted all the pictures, um, all of it went viral. And yeah, had no idea they were going to be dropping the most anticipated X-Men do-over um, figure uh, that... We've all been wanting for a while, you know, the London Comic Con and all the other internationals thought we were just going to get, you know, piddly little ones, you know, minor characters, which we were teased and thought that was the case with Citizen V and Union Jack. Nice touch with Union Jack, by the way, Hasbro. All of that was mulliganed when you took away the butterfly joints, but we'll get into that when we get that figure. And then, of course, the mother load, the main event, Beast. And my, 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 what a figure. Bit annoyed that we were the last one of the last countries in fucking world to actually get this wave after it being revealed at our convention but you know i'm not butthurt or anything <clears throat> anyway let's move on from that and let's have a look at him okay so i will touch upon the articulation of this dude he does only come with the one head sculpt which is the roaring face i wish you the best of luck craig warwick with your head sculpts and i hope that you can get some good molds and casts going because i would definitely definitely be interested in one as well as yours anthony's customs but it may be about my price range we shall see but yes so we just get the one here sculpt okay accessory wise all he comes with is some alternate hands so you get a fist and of course we get another sort of just open clawed hand and hand wise here we just get another semi-open hand and the flat hand which obviously is where the balance comes in as you can see the pose everyone's trying to cop the balance and act and he does do it 
Whether it'll work on this thing or not, I have no idea. But I'll put a picture up now. Good, convinced it does it. Good, let's move on to some articulation with this dude. Let's get him in frame, okay. So the head's got some good movement, okay. Pretty standard for Marvel Legends, up and down and swivel. The real gems are really good butterfly joints. Okay, as you can see, they go all the way back and they can come mm, not too bad forward. What I do like though is in the ab crunch. So not only do we have a diaphragm joint up here and a really good crunch forward at the base, okay, which is provided here by the ab crunch and the combination of the two. Of course, he has a swivel as well, I believe. Does he have a swivel? Can't tell. No, it doesn't. So, okay, that is just one piece. Okay, from the trunks to the body is just one piece. So that's where the articulation is. They made up for it. So you can get him low on a twist either way. Okay, he does go back quite far, but the, uh, the bonus is how much 20 minute abs he can do. <coughs> there you go. Look at that, solid. Good workout. All right. So the arms can come out real far back, bicep swivel, elbow joints, you've seen all that. Okay. But he does have some amazing range in the arms for sure. Up and down hinge on the hands, on both. Really good split, look at that. That is a hell of a Van Dam right there, which is really good. Legs can come out really far, double joints. And of course we have the rocker and toe articulation. So plenty, plenty to sink your teeth into when posing this guy up. Have at it, have some fun, test its limits, okay? Because he's definitely worth it. Bah! <laughs> okay, up next we have Blink. All right, so let's bring her forward and see what she's all about. Okay, really, really nice deco in the face. Some good details there. Beautiful green eyes. They've got a metallic sheen to them as you can see there great head sculpt i really like this figure quite a lot they've put some decent details in it she they've got and look at that she's a really beautiful figure i love the uh, the sculpt around the mouth area you know just like kate cassidy from arrow this is just me but uh yeah awesome sculpt on the face and lots of great detail standard female bulk day obviously no double joints but that ain't bad there's more than 90, just slightly. You know, they are getting better with it. I think they're extending the uh, the length here to try and incorporate more bend. But yeah, she can't move around that much on the top. No way swivel, obviously. This is a floaty piece, which can get annoying with the, uh, the effect of these being draped to one side. And of course, uh, this is loose as well. And yeah, she's got decent split on her, same double joints, and some boots. Now, that's pretty much the deco. Let's have a look at the back. Okay. Dignity. Dignity. I like it. So, let's have a look at what she comes with. Please stand up for me. Okay, looking at her accessories, she comes with one of these, which I believe is a construct. Um, some sort of shard, dagger, blade construct. It's translucent in colour. There are two, but once again, sod's law, I end up losing one before I roll the cameras, although I know where the other one of this is. Again, it's on the floor, but I know where on the floor. <laughs> but I thought I'd show you anyway. So we get two of these. Okay, they look exactly the same, and they fit in both her hands. All right, so let me just show you quick. And they're quite a soft plastic too. So get in there. With a bit of a push and then she can hold them cool and do some threatening poses with them all right so if you're in prison with her you're guaranteed to get shanked okay so she comes with two of those even though i've only got the one and this which is sort of like a teleportation portal uh, effect um, I'm sure she'll emerge from this or sink into it. Now, annoyingly, this is not translucent, which I th thought was a bit odd. It's very bright pink, kind of like the slime pink from Ghostbusters 2. But, uh, yeah, not translucent whatsoever. It's very, very odd. But she does 
kept it in it quite well. So if I did that, lowered the camera slightly, you know, play with your camera angles and you can get some good trick shots with a emerging from this thing. But yeah, so you get that, which is all right. It's a soft plastic. Uh, it's not sharp at all. It's just a shame it's not translucent. My only gripe. Other than that, she's a pretty decent figure. All right, Roo, let's move on to Raging Cajun himself, Gambit. All right. Come here. Come here. There you go. Blink, move over. So this definitely has to be my either one of the favorites or the favorite of the wave 100%. We've been waiting for a new Gambit for a while. Um, when we saw the pics of the reveal, weren't too thrilled they were using this coat, but also at the same time, not too surprised either. What other kind of trench coat does Marvel have in their uh, in their lineup that they can recycle? So we've seen this coat a gazillion times, but it works. It works for Gambit, man. These are uh, the textured um, lapels. It, it just work completely. You know, he has some of the best accessories um, with the bow staff, as you can see here. Okay, mine's a little warped, but nothing like uh, the hot and cold water trick can uh, solve. He doesn't hold it too brilliantly in his hands. You know, the grip is a bit too loose. You know, so it can slide up and down, which is great, though. We'll give them that props because they do have the up and down hinge rather than the, uh, you know, the, the curl hinge. We've got the up and down hinge, which is awesome. So you can get them into some standing you know, however they uh, the martial artists hold their uh, their uh, their sticks like that behind their backs. All right, and we get some cool card effects. One hundred percent. The one he's got in his hand right now is my favourite. Okay, so this is just translucent plastic. So, so you've got the card shape there, that's see through, and you've got the uh, sort of the residual energy smoking off from the card as he's lit it up, lit lit it up. Okay, and that fits snugly in his hand piece motherfucker in between there yeah and that fits in pretty well okay and as you've seen in a few of my shots that i've done recently this thing comes to life with the laser pointer absolutely love this effect okay really really lights up well as you can see here laser pointer and just hit it from the front and the thing just pops on camera like no one's business and it's beautiful really lights up well just perfect gives the perfect glow for when he's igniting his um his energy effect now the other card accessory power thingy my job is this the most anticipated accessory of course we've seen plenty of people customize the multiple card throwing effect now i have a problem with this this effect is all wrong, and I will tell you why. First of all, obviously, warped out the packaging. That's no brainer. But another thing, this is meant to represent a whoosh motion, right? Okay, like you're throwing the cards and you're going pew, 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 as you're whooshing across. Okay, so I get this part. What I don't get is that the hand would not be in the middle. Okay, it will be here at the thickest where his energy is most predominant and obviously it is dissipating as he's trailing away from it. Okay, so these would remain here, but the longest one would be here and then the, like, the scale would go down because he threw this card first. So obviously it's traveling further and then so on and so forth and his hand would pretty much be here. So he's continuously moving. It will give that effect of him completing the maneuver and the hands over here and the cars are firing off as he's launched them but here you've incorporated the swoosh along with the hand in the middle this would have worked better if it was just a straight throw card like you know as if he's got him he's just gone this would have worked a lot better without this okay this swoosh motion and just left it as three straight cards okay so that's my big gripe, is that they really cocked up on the aerodynamics of uh, this design. Plenty of other customizers have done a better job. Uh, I do like the translucency. Again, it does pop under a laser pointer. Uh, if you've got a couple to hit the thing on multiple ends, or you can do some light painting and you can sort of paint along the streak. Okay, and just go along. If you're quick and if you're good at aim, then yeah. So disappointing with the design of this, but still nice accessory and good for, you know, good for posing. So that 
is Gambit. Okay, moving on to Skullbuster. Most, one of the most obscure of the wave. I'm not too familiar with this character at all. Uh, I will be honest. Um, but he looks badass. Really, really badass. Lots of detail in him for sure. Okay, along with the, the shoulder pads. Definitely both different. Also we've got the, the bullet chain belt. And we've got a nice tactical jacket here. Actually, I haven't looked, made a chance to look under there. Some decent sculpt work under there. For sure. And obviously you've got a sculpted on magazine that doesn't come out at all. Cool belt, little accessory belt, uh, awesome bionic hand, and an awesome bionic arm. A very uh, Colossus esque. Shame it wasn't uh, a bit more silver. And here we have a holster for his gun. Okay, wide, wide holster for a wide gun. Look at that thing. Lots of detail. Lots of detail in the sculpt for sure. Sod all paintwork though. But this is Hasbro after all, what you can expect. Um, but yeah, not bad, holds it well. Yeah, it's got a decent size of that thing. Got a magazine sticking out the bottom and everything. Back in made it awesome. Okay, well, it's the first time we've seen a gun like that, so it's cool. Hopefully we'll see it on some others in some different tones of uh, plastic colour. But yeah, holds it well. You know, so you can pop a cap in your ass. Douche. Okay, and yeah. Decent legs, awesome knee pads, awesome boots. The sculpt on this thing is just fucking great. So all the details are there. This is the most detail I've seen in a comic book based figure. Now, like, normally you get them like that and Forge where they're sod all there, apart from accessories. But here, there's plenty of detail. And the paint job is really good as well. Especially if I can get him there. On the head sculpt. The red eyes are done beautifully. The paintwork on the head is awesome. Okay. Just really, really, really done well. So I'm very, very happy with this guy. Had one of Hasbro's best, I'm not going to lie. And he does come with an alternate head as his last accessory, which is this dude. And I think this is pretty cool. Again, I have no idea the context of this or the character because I'm not familiar with him. Um, but yeah, he has an alternate head, some... Uh, Dude in a helmet, translucent, completely see-through crystal clear plastic, like a visor, and a microphone, which is awesome. Microphone is not articulated at all. But again, great detail. Look at that. Just some awesome detail, and it pops on just fine. Let's see how he quickly looks with it on. Uh, that is on. No pop, but I'm sure it is on. There we go. Okay, yeah. Sorry, Gambit. I just think it's just you get a lot for the amount you're going to pay for him. You know, there's a lot there, um, especially in terms of the sculpt and the deco. You know, just some really, really nice, nice details. So, yeah, well worth it for this guy for sure. Skullbuster, you're up on the list, mate. So, you go over there. Next up on the roster, Forge. Okay, slightly familiar with this guy. His name has done the rounds in the X-Men books and the cartoon that I've seen. Uh, not much going on with him. There is a fair bit, to be honest. I'll actually just take that back. There is a fair bit going on with him. Um, obviously, he's wearing um, classic X-Men uniform that we've seen on Wolverine and on Morph and Cyclops and a few others. Okay, he does come with a couple of guns. So let's have a look at this big bastard. Okay. Lots of detail on it, all one colour, but tons and tons and tons of detail, which is really nice. So you could give it a nice silver dry brush or something, you know, get some wear on there. And he holds it really well, obviously, with the left hand cupping the underside pump action, and you've got the trigger hand in there, nice. Unfortunately, my trigger hand is slightly a bit too loose. As you can see, he holds it, fits, but it doesn't hold it well, it's not snug. So it's quite loose there, which is a little bit disappointing. But the best way to, for me, if I'm going to display him or any shot like that, is to have him there ready. Okay. Love the 70s porno tash. <laughs> Straight out of Boogie Nights. Bandana is wicked. And a cool ponytail. But the ponytail is not articulated, unfortunately. Which uh, kind of a little bit foreshadowing for any other character that they're going to bring out that has a ponytail. There's a good chance it's not going to be articulated. Alright, so the belt is on a is free-floating. 
the harness is free floating. He does have a secondary weapon, a little pistol, which is holstered up here. If I can get it out, that's quite tight fit, so it won't fall. Again, tons of detail on it, but again, just one color. No doubt we'll see this come about with other figures. And yeah, cool detail on the, uh, the leg, just the one. And cowboy boots, motherfucker. Yeah, there's a snake in my boots. Toy Story 4, what you got? So yeah, awesome little touch with the cowboy boots. And yeah, so for a figure that looks pretty basic, he actually has some pretty slick details in him. Um, just makes me like this whole wave of tons. You know, this is a solid wave of figures. You know, each one, I mean, there, there's a, a surefire hit for me with Gambit. And um, there isn't one sort of really just terrible figure in amongst a lot, which is a rarity. You know, there's normally always one. So why don't you stand in me, you bastard? Um, there you go. Which is normally always one in a wave that's just absolute dog shite. But I enjoy all of these. There's tons of details in all of them and lots of playability. So before we wrap it up, we've got to take a look at the bath itself, Caliban. Let's see if I can get him out over here. Okay, this guy is quite big. As you can see, he doesn't even fit in my frame. <laughs> but so this is Caliban. Now, uh, you've got this pearlescent plastic going on, which is standard sort of, you know, plastic they use in molding. Um, big chunky figure, lots of detail in the veins and stuff. Got cuffs here. But what I really like is there's not much else going on apart from his uh, style of deco. Okay. You know, we've got the two foot, the two toe foot. There's no uh, loose accessories with him. But what I really like is this head sculpt. This is really nice. It's got this kind of like um, like a, uh, a dusty, chalky white dry brush with what looks to be like quite a good black wash to it. It's quite shadowy with my lighting, but as you can see, I really love the detail and the paintwork of this head. It's really sick. Awesome yellow eyes. The inside of the mouth is really good. Just looks vicious and menacing, man. And they've done the same with the hands too. So that's pretty cool. So again, just some really nice, enjoyable details that you don't normally see from a Marvel Legend. There are a couple of QC issues. Like there's a, um, where is it? Which I notice there's a silver blodge on mine. There, a silver blodge on mine, just there. And a couple of things like that throughout the wave. But yeah, this, uh, you know, as much as I'm not familiar with Caliban, apart from obviously Steve Merchant in Logan and the other younger dude in x-men apocalypse i'm not that familiar with him um but looks wise you know look at that that's fucking terrifying under some good lighting you can really get a nice crisp clean uh close-up of him and it'd be fucking awesome i think you know so yeah really digging this head sculpt quite a lot loving the details they went for it and other again this again it's a um, all comic book wave there is no movie figures in this and they really put in some detail obviously they had a big budget for this one and i'm here for it keep bringing on the bigger budget waves you know so there we are he's got the standard articulation of a bath okay pretty decent you know, there's no double butterfly joint, but you know, there is a cut, so the arms can come in a little bit further than the uh, standard one will. But yeah, so Caliban, definitely a hench bastard. And as you can see here, just with the shadowy lighting I've got going, that's terrifying. Enjoy your night's sleep. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's put him back. Yeah. So overall, I'm really enjoying this wave. Every single one of them, as I said, is has some awesome details to it. And yeah, plenty of fun to be had throughout all. Oh, this is a great big budget wave, and they really took their time to put some sweet details into each one and gave us some sweet accessories at the same time. So definitely, I recommend picking this up. If you're trying to complete your Jim Lee X-Men teams, of course, this has a great few additions, especially this dude. Okay, I'm 100% happy that I have this wave to the collection. Anyway, guys, that'll wrap it up for me. Hope you enjoyed this quick overview. Unfortunately, I couldn't get to do a review on every single one. We did get this wave extremely late, so by the time I would have done them, there would have been tons of reviews out anyway, and uh, pretty much no point. But I did want to have, uh, you know, just to get the camera on them and give you some thoughts of what, I, um, what I'm enjoying and what I'm not with the wave. And yeah, so I have a, a few photos that I'm going to roll at the end of the video. I haven't managed to get a shot of every figure there's a couple that i missed 
purely because I haven't been inspired 100% to work out what kind of shot I'm going to do with that character. Uh, it's called a creative block. Uh, writers get them and we get them too. So I'm having a little bit of a creative block with a couple of the characters, Caliban and Forge in particular. So I'm looking at some comic book references to see if I can get any inspiration for a shot for them. But I do have a few other shots, so I'm going to roll them now. Enjoy, guys. Thanks again for watching. If you wouldn't mind hitting that like and subscribe and notification bell buttons, give them a little cheeky push for me. That would be awesome. All of it helps me grow, and I'd really appreciate it. I am on Facebook and Instagram at Project Piper Customs. Please be sure to hit the Toy Comics Inc. Facebook page and the ACBA Facebook page if you want to get more involved in the craft and see some more awesome examples of toy photography. Please be sure to hit up the Plastic Action UK website. It'll, all the links will be in the description. So head on over there for more news, reviews, and helpful hints, tips, and tricks in toy photography we are currently running a giveaway for two marvel legends of this wave we have beast and gambit up for grabs in an exclusive giveaway this is a uk only giveaway so please only uk participants may enter and uh, yeah we have the competition running now on our instagram so head on over there at plastic action uk all right that's enough of my rambling and plugs please enjoy the slideshow take it easy guys thanks again for watching and until next time